Okay, so... One thing that's kind of neat is I have noticed that there's actually a, uh... A, um... It's like some sort of dynamic system at play based off of the terrain you're running across. Like, how uh, Sam has to plant his... Has to find his footing to get through it. So I've noticed sometimes if I'm running along the beach... He'll, uh, he'll kind of like widen out his stance to make his center of gravity more balanced between his feet. I think that's just, I think that's just freaking awesome. I think that the amount of code that they went, uh, that they must have written to get this movement system down is, uh, really, really impressive. I also think that, like, hold, I think I figured out what the issue is, uh, with my movement not being able to, um, like sprint and stuff like that. Oh, good, balance peeing. Um, is that I'm trying to, like, keep a hand on both straps, which I think it might be a little bit overkill. I think that I just need to make sure that I am, uh, we're just going to make sure that I'm on track here. Uh, looks like stuff narrows up on around here and maybe over here as well, so I should have the ability to cross fairly soon. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think that, generally speaking, I don't need to hold down those buttons so much, and I've noticed that, like... As long as I, um, as long as I do that, I actually can't sprint nearly as well as if I just have my feet, um, if I just have my hands free, which makes sense because, you know, people, uh, people do a lot of running with their hands and they need those hands free to be able to, my character is, uh, their stamina is quite low. I'm wondering why that's happening. I'm guessing maybe I do need to, like, eat, uh eat something to like get my stamina back up. I'm not entirely sure. That mechanic was probably explained to me at some point. Anyway, this river, this water is like super duper rapid. So that seems like a hell of a, this seems like a pretty up downstream from here seemed like a really risky, I'm fucked, aren't I? Uh, down, downstream from here seemed like a really risky move. Uh, and that was actually an incredibly risky move too. So, um, Definitely, uh, crossing the river is, it's tough because my stamina is quite low and I think that it was explained to me, um, how I can change that. Uh, and it is telling me that I can urinate. I have some doubts that urinating is going to give me a lot of stamina back. I mean, I could be wrong, right? Like... I don't know, uh, whenever I pee, I don't really get, I don't really think to myself, like, man, I can just run forever. I got an empty bladder and a far horizon. Like, not really the, the case with me. I don't spend a whole lot of time outdoors, though, and so maybe if I was, like, a more physically fit person, and I did more, like, bladder-based running training and that sort of thing... I might have better luck um, being able to relate to this character. As it stands, though, he is coming from a background that I really just cannot relate to. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, so I disconnected from the chiral network, but I think more importantly... Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, it's baby time. So... I kind of forget how this mechanic works, but I'm going to assume that if I head the opposite direction of baby time, I'll be okay. But, uh, oh, right, right, right. The, now that it's baby time, that, um, that, like, light is pointing me directly at the nearest butt tiger. So, I need to just move this direction, uh, which... Okay, now it's now it's pointing dead ahead is the nearest butt tiger. So this entire like passage that I'm heading towards, th that's butt tiger territory. We can't stop here. That's what uh that's what Johnny Depp would tell us. Okay, so um I believe that if I just kind of circle around, I should be okay. It's generally to my right. I'm doing okay. Okay, now it's telling me it's like directly ahead of me. You gotta use the scans. I don't remember how to do that. 
Okay, uh, we can't rest here. It's butt tiger country. Um, I don't remember how to use the scanner in this game. Oh, uh, looks like, uh, like sitting down for a little while did have the effect of, um, causing me to, to, oh, yep, yeah, okay. I see Butt Tiger. They are over by that rock. So, I think if I just head up in this direction, pretend I'm a horse from Skyrim, I should be okay. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't remember at all. Uh, what that control was so without the ability to scan um, I'm gonna use the best I'm gonna use God scanner aka my eyeballs and uh, that should be sufficient I must be very close to a butt tiger because that scanner is uh, applauding the the presence of the butt tiger um, and also rather unfortunately for me the, uh, oh God, how do I fucking use the scanner? Um, the, okay, there's the controls. Uh, it looks like this entire river bank is just covered in, in shit. So if I go to controls, okay, scan terrain is just R1. Got it. Uh, all right. Uh, there we go. Okay. So I was tapping R1. And, um, okay, I can see that one over there. I think, okay, if I hold my breath, I should be able to. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We're fine, right? Okay. My baby is upset, but, uh, okay, he's following the footprints, but he's not going to be able to catch up to me. Uh-oh. Okay, my baby is quite upset, but I haven't left any footprints behind, so the butt tiger shouldn't be able to catch up to me at this point, especially because I'm holding my breath, and, oh my god, my cargo is just going to, like, get completely fucking wrecked, isn't it? Uh, okay, so my stamina decreased too because my, uh, because my, um, uh, I, I was holding my breath and like a whole bunch of shit was going wrong there. Okay, so there's strategy to this game. Uh, that strategy is currently eluding me. I'm wondering though. Uh, okay, so holding your breath with this much cargo at the same time is a bit of a challenge. All right, I think if I just go past, okay. All right, so my cargo got ruined. I'm about to get butt tigered like crazy. If I, oh my God. Yeah, I really don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, uh, my, okay. Uh, it looks like, yeah, I've also been taking some damage too. So, all right. One of my cargos got lost as well. Um, okay, so maybe what I can do is just head up this river, or head up the side of the mountain. And, uh, yeah, there's a, okay, cargo is damaged. All my rare metals are now damaged, which is a pain in the ass too. Um, okay, so I'm gonna disconnect myself from the chiral network. We're gonna just loop, uh, we're gonna go up the mountainside here. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to use my amazing abilities of uh, holding my breath and crouching and see if that allows me to get past these bastards. Um, gonna go ahead and uh, pee myself back into balance. And I think if I just keep... Okay. I think that this might be all right, right? Okay, I feel like I'm heading directly towards one. Okay, I am. There he is. Okay, I'm finally starting to... I think I'm starting to smell what this game is cooking. Uh, I just need to... Maybe if I 
scan again. And then, uh, okay. Can, I would like to look to my right right now. There we are. Okay, indeed, there's one right there. The terrain gets, uh, quite rough up ahead, or up the side of this mountain. But I think, uh, maybe if I were to use a ladder or something, I think that as long as I make it to the upside of this hill, I might be all right. So let's start climbing. Okay, let's start climbing. And I think, yeah, just get up over this bluff. Definitely playing this like Skyrim. Okay, uh, Baby is now securely shutting the hell up. Uh, my, my cargo is damaged, so uh, things are getting a little rough. However, it looks like the storm is now passing, so I was able to sufficiently... Um, okay, okay. Resin got ruined, but uh, we're just going to resign to that fate for the resin. It wasn't my resin to begin with, anyway. So, um, we'll retire the resin from this, uh, delivery here. And just gotta keep on going up here because it looks like I'm generally heading away from, uh, the center of the storm. So, uh, I think that I'm probably going to lose this cargo, which is a shame because, um... Yeah, I, I understand that uh, feeling. That's uh, that's that's the best part of waking up is trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with you. Okay, so my rare metals uh, are all ruined, so this mission is almost assuredly failed. But I mean, hey, it's not my, not my, not my rare metals. Besides, if that guy gave me the rare metals and they couldn't, they, they're probably not that rare to begin with. He can find more. Post apocalypse. There's nothing more metal than that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see where the hell uh, I am and why it's a bad idea that I'm this far up the mountain. Um, well, yep, it's uh, it's not good. This is this is definitely not going particularly great on account of the fact of this. Gonna go ahead and just pee myself into not falling off the side of the cliff there, uh, which worked surprisingly well. And now that we've traversed that shit, we'll go ahead and head down in this direction and definitely gonna try and hold on to my straps for dear life as we continue uh, to traverse this mountainside, very Skyrim style. Uh, I am now starting to understand when I was saying earlier that I'm not going to play this like an idiot and like walk around, walk uh, on the side of cliffs like some sort of Skyrim horse. I have quite unfortunately uh, not done a particularly good job of sticking with that promise, but you know, it could be worse. Okay, my baby is pissed. Go ahead and scan. Uh, all right. So I don't really see any threats. So my baby's just doing what babies do, which is uh, which is cry and, and shit all over the place. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Fucking lazy baby. Necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry though. All right. Uh, so my baby is suffering from autotoxemia, uh, which I think that's how David Carradine died. Anyway, um, it looks like looks like I I should be okay though. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah okay. 
the the sun is shining um there's no there's no rain anymore Ah, okay. Autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. Cool, cool. So, uh, I basically spent so much time um, near the butt tigers that my baby uh, jerked itself off to death. Uh, oh, right. That's fuck. That explains it. That's why the. Oh my god. That's why when you hold your breath, the butt tigers are a lot. Uh, are a lot lot less able to kill you it's because the baby is auto erotic asphyxiationing itself and if you do it too much uh it it it, it ends up breaking so uh that makes a lot of sense all righty let's drop off my shitty shitty cargo which i'm sure is in uh very very poor condition at this point but hey you can't get mad at me i'm new Package delivered. Seriously? <laughs> I got your shit. Yeah, the important thing is to uh, fall down the cliff for comedic effect right before delivering it. Um, just because, I mean, hey, if I'm going to be the UPS guy, I'm going to be the UPS guy. All right. So let's go in here, activate the terminal. And be like, here's your rare metals, ma'am. They got exploded. Deliver the l deliver the lost cargo. None usable. Deliver this thing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, all cargo is ready to be delivered. Confirm. This these menus are just impossible for me to figure out. I can't wait to see what grade I get. The legendary delivery guy. Yeah, you might have heard of me. Have you ever heard of the Postal Service? That's me, John Postal. My dad was Mr. Postal, and my mom was Mrs. Service. And then they combined to have me. I don't know how it actually happened, though. I, I tried to talk to my parents about sex, but then they just said, like, where did you hear that dirty word? And then, uh, they told me that I was, uh, that's, that's when they pulled me out of public education because they said I was learning about Satan. They were right. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh, accept that for some godforsaken reason, I apparently earned an A on that mission, which, uh, how I did that is okay. beyond me. Yeah, here's your USB stick. I just plug this into your gravity machine and it turns your internet back on. Did you try just, you know, plug unplugging it and plugging it back in? I mean, seriously, that would make this so much easier. <laughs> Sam Porter checking in. I'm okay. God damn, can you imagine how long it would take to walk from to from Washington DC to like well this map's really fucked up. Uh that looks like I'm guessing like Cleveland, Ohio. But like everything gets really, really distorted as it goes all the way to the left. Anyway, um yeah, so can you imagine how long it would take to walk from Washington DC to Cleveland, Ohio? I mean, maybe in Japan it's possible because the country's a lot smaller. But, I mean, that's got to be like a two-week journey. So, I think that this is um, 
just the weirdest interpretation of the United States I could have ever heard from. <gasps> of. <laughs>